Hello everybody, welcome back to UBZ. It's been a while since I've recorded anything, hopefully I can get this back into a normal routine. But uh, I figured the best way to come back into making videos is to do something that you guys have all been enjoying so far. And that's been some more XCOM, but not just any XCOM. We're going to be playing XCOM 2 War of the Chosen DLC. Now, I played this D DLC a little bit before recording. Um... But I completely got my ass handed to me. I played on Commander. That's what we're doing this time as well. Because uh, I'm really bad at the game apparently. Uh, we're going to be turning off the tutorial. Because uh, we, it's all the same. There's nothing really new that goes on there. And then subtitles are on. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't care about that either. Uh, we're not going to bother with the advanced options. Because uh, this is just going to be like a normal, normal start. Normal run. Integrating all the DLCs, so everything is still in it, so the bosses, boss monsters are in, all of that. Here's something new for you, though. We're in. <clears throat> but I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. Move forward, sir. That's fine. It wasn't our fault. Let's have time. Please. There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report. So, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. <laughs> Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. No, oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, yeah. We've seen this. This is all the same. Screw that. Next. Prepare for the twentieth anniversary of Unification Day. Oh. There we go. I thought I turned the tutorial off. Or did I turn it on? Well, whatever. This kind of sucks. This takes forever. I'm just going to zoom by here. We've we've seen this all before. Damn it, I would have had four units that are ranked up too. Uh, you know what? You guys have just seen all that. There's the three bosses. If you don't know anything about the War of the Chosen DLC, it takes note from... Uh, okay, so I did activate the tutorial like a big doofus. And we're going to have Iron Man on. Uh, yeah. So, um, well, let me, let me skip that and skip this. Okay, good. There we go. Back on track. So, the War of the Chosen DLC brings in three new boss characters that act like the, um, 
oh, excuse me, uh, that act like the orcs from Shadow of Mordor or Shadow of War that's coming out soon. So they remember what they did and they remember what you did and they mock you throughout the entire game. They also get random abilities as you play. So it, it's always a toss up of how the game's actually going to work out. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. We're in a concealed position. Cool, cool. So, nice thing about my rig right now that I'm very happy about is I can play at four at 2K at 60 frames a second, and I'm recording at 2K at 60 frames a second. So you know, <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> I'm actually very, very happy with that. I'm glad that it's finally working. And I got a few mods put back in, so like now if I'm flanking someone, it'll say it. You can see, I don't know why I'm pointing. You can see the yellow target to let you know that you are flanking them. That's just taking in the, see even the target previews crap compared to that. Uh, they teach you early on that you can press alt to see a target preview of what you're about to do when you move there. But it's not nearly as good as what I'm doing now. Like you can already see I'm gonna be flanking two people if I if I go there, You're near the target position. we can be a bit aggressive here. Roger that. It's a bit far away for these two. Okay, so they're just not moving. Whoa, interesting. I don't. I never saw that reticle before. The the caution. Interesting. Okay. Well, you. It gives all of a 60 to 70% chance. You, oh my gosh. Okay. Why? Hide advantage. Weapon range. Is weapon range. Yeah, yeah. So the closer you are, the better, of course. Okay. Well, let's get you within range as well. Moving. One thing I'm curious about with this game that I never researched is uh Oh, the explanation point says who you're going to activate. Interesting. Okay. Okay. But uh one thing that I don't know is if you are in Overwatch high above, does that make it so your Overwatch shot has higher percentages? We're about to find that out. Because I am just going to shoot the one that's farthest away. Man, playing on commander mode sucks sometimes. You don't kill them. There's always a chance that it'll just wound them. That's not good enough. I need to kill. Yeah, see, that... I feel like it's just like a 50% chance whenever they're overwatching. Because it just doesn't seem very consistent. Mm -hmm. 82 from that close. Well, at least he's dead, so that's good. That's a one -er. You're my last move. I could leave my full cover. 58 chance. Yeah. 82. See, dude, when you fuck up like that, now you're just going to get shot at and probably die. Idiot. Ah, right. this game makes me have an aneurysm. Goddamn. Flanked again. No, not flanked. But it's still hit. That's a three for sure. All right. Oh, no. Okay, good. Don't miss. Thank you. have you guys come on down as much as I like having the height advantage good shit good shit we'll just have you overwatch you go there and I like these uh, uh, event updates so whenever something happens in the game when you're fighting it'll pop up on the right to say what the fuck's happening so you can actually keep up on everything Nothing. 
copy. Moving on target. I should probably have you catch copy up. That. Moving on target location. I have a feeling they're going to be more to the northwest. On Overwatch. Scanning. I don't know if they patrol though, because I have most mods off. Because uh, I Understood. I'm on a DLC Moving now, out. it doesn't work. Rock and roll. Know, reload. Moving to designated coordinates. I'm on it. Uh-huh. Location you go confirmed. There. You'll just stay on Overwatch. I'm on it. Possible hostile contact. I was right. They're up there. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. With your weird ass. X4 module is armed. Neutralize any remaining hostile contacts. That'll activate him. The Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. Hmm. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. All right, I think I gotta, I gotta bait them out. Oh, okay, they baited themselves out. Fifty-four, fifty-six. I really wish I could do my quarter turns here. God, that explosion's so small. Well, whatever. If it can blow up the cover, I'll be happy. And kill the dude. And it didn't do either. So, that's some bullshit. Hmm. Well, you're pretty much dead, so you gotta stay behind some full cover. 47. Love you, Overwatch. What's that? Oh, a thing I can hack. What mod did I activate that does that? I don't remember those icons ever being there. Whatever. It's not a big deal. It's just kind of annoying. Uh, hmm. See, I wish I could know how far he could move. Because going here would be good. It would make him get out of the full cover and make him use up one of his things, but he'd probably go back inside of the building and get full cover in there, which will make it harder for me. I think, I think this is my best option. 46. To be expected. Last person, huh? On the move. 58. How about 100%? Hmm? Goddamn grenades being so small. Catch. Oh, that was a bad idea. Now I'm gonna get flanked. I shouldn't have gone there. Shit. Idiot. Idiot. Oh, okay, well, at least he used that to just mark me. He's not going to be able to take a shot on me. I'm getting really lucky because I'm making horrible decisions here. Mm -hmm. 76. Good. I really don't like doing this, but I really want him to die. Heading there now. Moving to position. And then On he'll the go way. there and pick that up. So if this works out right, he should die this turn. Oh my gosh. That guy's love this. On Overwatch. There, we'll Overwatch you. 76. Hey! Oh, no, only need- Holy shit! We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Status confirmed. All right. Detonating charges. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get ability points now where you can give your units uh, forced upgrades or... This is pretty cool. Progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. 
voluntary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years. <laughs> so there's a lot of cool things that happen with this DLC. For one, every time you finish a mission, they ex the uh, uh, propaganda tries and twists what you did to make it look like you're bad and they're good. Uh, and then you also make posters for your units after every mission, and they get scattered all over the uh, I told the, the map. To expect the best, and that's what you've shown them, Commander. Well done. Yay! The ranger serves as all right, so we got a ranger. We're going to get one of every unit, which is great. Operating some of so then another thing that happens here, as you saw, uh, they, didn't sh they showed it for a brief moment. It said most cohesion on the top. That shows each of our soldiers has a unique relationship with their squad mates. As they complete combat missions together, their compatibility will grow and can eventually develop into a lasting bond. So whenever people bond, as you can see between the ranger and the specialist, their compatibility is very high. So they will bond quicker. And when they bond, they get special abilities. The first one being you can have one of your moves go to your buddy so they can make another action. Just like it's pretty it nice. Sounds. Ranger's a sniper, got it. Or a uh, sharpshooter's a sniper. Then we get a heavy. Yeah. Goody goody. Yeah, and then my, uh, perfect, yeah. So these guys will bond, these guys will bond, but only when they fill up all the way I can tell them to. Says one dead to the Go to the lab. research. This is all the same. The things that are different, though, is uh, after you finish research, sometimes they'll get inspired to do other research that isn't even listed. Like one of them was uh, if you, you if you uh, if you get inspiration, you can have one where construction for a power relay is half off for like the rest of the game uh there's another one that raises the damage of your sniper rifles by one it's, it's just so stuff long. like that it's really really Come interesting back. and now we go Commander, back to searching we're attempting contact with a local resistance faction known as the reapers these mm -hmm. people like to keep a very low profile so it may take some time before we hear back while we're waiting, it might be worthwhile to scan the area for additional supplies and resources. You never know what we may find out there. Commander, one of our resistance contacts oh, just cool. took us off to a site that may be worth investigating. That's another thing that's nice. No matter what happens, Commander, every time you play this game, the first things that you get are always randomized. You don't know resources. if it's going to be it's going to take some time, though. Units or rookies or engineers or whatever. Weapon upgrades available. Alright, so then, I mean, the smart thing to do is get the, the armor going, too. Priority. But, I'd rather get guns first, so the moment that's done, I'm getting my magnetic weapons going. Which, is, I guess, is kind of stupid, because I need alien alloys, and I don't have any of those. Damn, two rookies. Nice. New I need to get an engineer immediately, too. Eight Commander, days here. As the resistance continues to grow, we'll have a better hey. chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. Now, hopefully, as this doesn't is, go as poorly as the first easy mission the I did uh, the first time I was region. recording. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Oh, let's see. I have two snipers. When did that happen? When? Oh, right. Okay, so this happened. This happened because I have a mod that makes it so all my units get experience. It's pretty nice, so then I don't have rookies all the time. I can have some variation. And it's not like a lot. It's just because rookies level up really quickly because you got to get them into the next rank. Hmm. What do I want? I do like having snipers. But you know, I think a ranger is better. Mm, hope that's not bad. I have another mod in that I can get up to eight units, but you have to like earn it. You have to spend the money for it. Uh, my specialist gets the med kit. And I got an extended mag. I'll give that to the sharpshooter. 
Yeah, and every time I give something a special gun, I put a little color on it. Let's do alien. That'll look nice. Then we'll change you to just the colors, nothing crazy. Something dark. That'll do. What goes well with green? Yeah, that looks okay. Yeah. Alright. See, look, now he's all special. But, we're going to be doing this mission next time on UBZ. So I hope you guys keep watching the XCOM playthrough. Hopefully this is going to go a lot better than my, all my other ones. Because I don't think... I don't think I've won once on these harder difficulties. That's okay. It'll happen this time. I got a good feeling. See you soon, guys. Bye.